Hey guys, Solidus here, and today we're going to be looking at the new Druid customization options that you can get at the barbershop in Shadowlands. As the pre-patch has hit on the PTR, we are able to test this out because this comes out before Shadowlands officially releases. So I wanted to show everyone what the options are available and what it means for you and your different appearances. So the cool thing is Blizzard have now made it so that if you have unlocked artifact appearances like the mage tower appearance or some of the hidden artifact appearances or the balance power quest line you can now change each of your forms regardless of spec to whichever one you like and you do this at the barbershop so right now i'm at the barbershop in desire law and as normal you just go up and you go into the chair now at the moment it is a bit buggy and you can't actually see your character without having to turn the camera quite awkwardly and get it in a specific place so hopefully i have put a bug in hopefully they'll, they'll fix this so it stops doing it but as you can see you have your different forms in the top right hand corner and then you can select whatever form it is that you've unlocked so if we start at the beginning you've got your standard bear form in the different colors and then as you go through you'll start to see the different appearances that you've unlocked um, whilst playing the game. So it's not really good, you can't really see, but you get the picture, the different colors, how far you progress through the Legion with your artifact. And then also if you have unlocked the Balance of Power quest line, for instance, you can see the different colors and, and so on. And like I said, even if you are playing in resto spec, you will still be able to use your balance of power bear form if you wish which is the one that i like to use so that's the one i'm going to pick the one that i've been most excited for though is the cat form now in live currently if you want to play as the fire kitty you need to farm firelands over and over again and you need to kill um the second to last boss in there, I can't remember the name of him, I've killed him that many times and I still can't remember the name, Fandral or something, and he drops a toy which is a very rare drop chance and that toy allows you to turn into the Fire Kitty I have not got that but what I have got though is the Flame Caster Staff, which he drops and that was at the time, when that was current expansion, that was what gave you the appearance but obviously because that's gone and you've stopped using that weapon because it's really low eye level, you needed the toy. So I was really surprised when I came and checked and I've actually got Bikey. And that's because I've looted that staff. I haven't got the toy. So you'll be pleased to know that the farm rate um, won't be as long because I believe this, the fire staff, which I'll show you in just a second, is a lot higher chance to pick up. So... For those of you that are wanting to play as the fire key, hopefully this makes it to live and they don't change this because I would imagine the people that have farmed the toy for a long, long time will be quite peeved with this. Um, but awesome news for everyone else. And exactly the same if you've got the hidden artifact appearances, then you can use them and the different colours and so on and so forth. So loads of customization options as a druid. And I, for one, cannot wait to be playing my rest of Druid whilst being the Fire Kitty, and I don't need to farm Firelands anymore. With your flight form, you're able to choose between uh, the Hawk as a Tauren Druid, and if you've unlocked the, um, the class mount, you can use that one as well. And then you've also got your aquatic form as well. If you've unlocked any of the glyphs that they have and use them, you have those to choose from as well. So there you go, that's how you pick your forms that you're going to be using as Druid. And then you've also got your customization options, which are second to none in Shadowlands, the new character customization and all of the different features um, that you can pick. Um, it really is second to none, it's great, they've done a fantastic job. I'm not going to show you this one because again, you can't really see what it is that you're picking. So I really just wanted to show everyone quickly what it was like picking your druid forms. Hope that helps. If you like what you saw, please like the video, feel free to subscribe if you want, and I will see you in the next one.